old were you both when you first remember being told about what had happened to you? When we first were told, I don't think it was an actual age, it was more like we grew up with the story. But because we were young, we couldn't like comprehend what actually happened, we were just like, oh okay, that's our baby pictures. But we didn't understand that we were, we were kind of right there, like, they had to separate us and stuff. I think when we understood was like, when we were a bit older, when we first started doing properly and um, working with newspapers, and we heard our parents repeat the story, and that, I think the first time when we heard the first story when we were about 10, and then when we heard like, how big of a deal the operation was, and how much hard work all the doctors have to do, then we realised, like, what happened? Yes, it's a miracle to see them. I mean, I think it's just like yesterday that they were all conjoined and babies. Mm. You know, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, we just feel very blessed and very lucky, actually, um, to actually share this day and the moment. And so every day we, we pay our lucky stars. Um, given the fact that these two young ladies, what they're going through and what they are today, mm -hmm. it's you know we're thankful to God and all the people that helped us with the journey. The surgeons in Hobbiton, at Great Hobbiton Hospital, the midwives, the nurses, yeah. everybody involved within this. And um, yeah, we, I just feel the, the luckiest father alive at the moment. Well, well when I'm when I'm older, I think I want to be a, like a doctor, a pediatrician. So I really like the maths and sciences right now. So. Uh, when I was young, I wanted to be a doctor and I also wanted to work with kids. I wanted to be like a teacher, so I thought, why not be a pediatrician? And especially, like, everything with Great Ormond Street Hospital, every time I go there, I think my own story inspired me in a way because it was that I was like, these doctors made such a huge impact on our lives. Imagine what I can do for other parents, other families. I'm, I'm not completely sure, like, I don't have a set <laughs> path, but I'm, right now I really enjoy languages. I'm doing French and Spanish, and I hope. In the future, I want to do a law degree because I think from a young age I've been interested in it, and then I fell out of interest. But now I've um, because I'm studying history, and now I want to like take that further with politics and hopefully do law mm -hmm. as a degree or like with French and languages. And I want to study abroad, so that will help me get there. Yeah. <laughs> Our goals are obviously Oxford and Cambridge, but I feel like that's everyone's goals. <laughs> but then um, yeah, but we realise we can actually just get there now. Before when we were younger, just like a dream, and now that we're actually taking steps to like have yeah. a career, we're like. I'm going to